Good morning and happy Tuesday. I'm Andy Ross. I'm one of the pastors at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. And I've been thinking about water lately, if you've been following. Um, when I was a little kid, on a Sunday afternoon, we went to go visit my Aunt Zell. My Aunt Zell at the time was 99 years old, lived by herself, and we were doing the dutiful family visit. I thought nothing can be more boring than to sit in the parlor little room for this ancient woman um, who wasn't that funny, was kind of dull and very old. I had a bad attitude. Sitting there in my Sunday clothes, my mom and my dad talked with Aunt Zell. I was bored. And uh, and then I got thirsty, and she, she, I asked for a drink. She said, well, why don't you go in the kitchen, that one cupboard just to the right, open it up. There's a glass by the front, by the side. Just grab that and get yourself a drink. I said, sure, anything to break the boredom. I went to the kitchen, opened the cabinet, there was the glass, opened it, filled it with water, came back in and sat down. And what I didn't know was that it was a dribble glass, a glass with this ornate design that had a few holes and it kept leaking water, leaking water onto my sleeve, my Sunday clothes, my lap started getting wet. I was embarrassed. I didn't know what was wrong. I didn't know those things existed as a little kid, let alone that a 99-year-old woman did practical jokes. She kept glancing at me, and finally she just broke out into a laugh. And everyone laughed that my pants were wet because she had me. She got me. I'll never forget that. And it changed my view of older people, their sense of humor. But I'll never forget the wonder of a dribble glass. I need to get one. <laughs> In our reading today from the book of Jeremiah, the prophet is instructed by God to call out to the people of Israel. In chapter, chapter 2, we hear, My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water. And sin number two, they have dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns that can't hold water. God was upset. The people of that day were following idols, forces of the universe, gods in their own making and design, and as you know, the wonder and attraction of a false god, an idol, is that you can pretend you're controlling it. Well, we can't control the real living God of this world. But this God is the spring of real fresh water. This morning, are there any broken cisterns in your life, glasses that are leaking containers that aren't holding what you really need? Is it time to open your heart and mind to the wonder and presence of the Holy Spirit of the living God, the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, who really quenches your thirst and won't leak out or become depleted? Here's to knowing what a real vessel is and finding the refreshment you need. Lord bless you today.